Hi, this is Carol Field Dahlstrom, and we're going to be talking today about eating gluten free using some things that are already gluten free when you buy them. We're going to make broiled tomatoes today. We're going to start with a big tomato, just a fresh tomato. It can be out of your garden or, of course, from the supermarket. And we're going to cut it in half this way as evenly as you can. Lay it on a little cookie sheet or a little baking sheet that we put some foil on. Okay, now the topping for this is mayonnaise. This is gluten-free mayonnaise, which is Hellman's Real Mayonnaise, is one of the gluten-free ones, just naturally that way. And then we have some plain yogurt. This is, uh, plain yogurt is also gluten-free, naturally. We're going to mix them together. We've got about two tablespoons of each. And we're going to mix them together like this. This is just a simple, wonderful vegetable to serve with any meat, and um, it's just always a favorite. Now we're putting that mixture on top of the tomato. It's okay if it runs off a little bit. And then we're going to top it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese is also naturally gluten-free. Some cheeses are not, but if you get real cheese without additives or processed, that are not processed, they should be gluten-free. And then on top of that, we're going to put a little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper is gluten-free. You're good there. And then to make it pretty and give a little extra flavor, we have some fresh basil. And we're just going to take a leaf and you can tear a little piece or you can put on the whole leaf, whatever you want. And we're going to put that under the broiler for about five minutes or until this all gets crusty brown and we'll take it out of the broiler from under the broiler and it is the most delicious and gluten-free. For more information go to the website 